Welcome to my channel or welcome back. This is a versus video. Here we go. I'm gonna um, get my dreadlock machine out. This is do a versus video on the different machines. And um, this is my machine, the Ugandan dreadlock machine. And I wanna do a versus to see how this machine, these two machines compare. This machine compares to this machine. This is the Amazon machine I just purchased. This is the Ugandan dreadlock machine. Okay. This is a pretty uh, clever machine. Uh, the machine is kind of, it has a, a button here. Pretty quiet. Inside, it has three uh, hooks or, or crochet needles in there. Uh, that doesn't really have a hook on them, so I'm not sure how it's gonna really work as a machine. I do like the fact that it's really beautiful. It's really like clean, and uh, these holes are really big uh, on the machine I have. Uh, the holes are small, so these, this machine, you can probably do. Uh, I guess the wicks on here, the wick uh, lock, pretty big lock to pretty small lock. So I like that about it very very well put together and this machine came with a couple of tools this is one tool which i think is an incredible design so what i'm going to do again there's the button there what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, pull take this tool pull the hair through and start locking so what i want to do is first i want to start with the hair that they sent me use the hair because it's going to be for this particular hole you have to use thick hair so I'm going to use hair that's thick so use hair that's thick that can feed through this hole and kind of be in it so if I use hair that's thin I'm not sure how it's going to Let's get enough hair that fits this particular. Then I'm going to use their tool that they sent me. It's the tool here. So I feed the tool through. And I guess I have to push the through tool, push the hair through the tool, which is kind of a challenge. So this tool doesn't really serve the purpose for me, like if I'm just working without a head, right? So this tool won't work. I'll just go to my tool and I'll use this tool and I will pull the hair through my tool. See if that works better. So I'm discovering that this hair doesn't really have a nap to grip, right? So you really have to work hard to get this hair into this machine. So in order, it won't, definitely won't work with this. The tool that they sent me to Amazon. But let's see if we can get it to work with a little more effort and a little more work. So what I just did is when you're trying to feed hair through this machine, you have to adjust it so this, so these needles are at the very bottom or it won't be able to go through. See, it's high, high, low. Let's see if it could, um, so we can do something here. So I'm gonna take it and twist it around. To see if it the hair will go through. It's kind of like pulling teeth. And then the hair is kind of stuck on the three heads inside the two. So this is the pull through, right? So let's see how it works.
So the object of the game is to pull back and forth. Seem to be working. And I'm trying really hard to get the hair to have a texture. So the whole name of the game is these, the three tools inside are to create texture within this lock which seems to be creating a texture but the texture is really if i show you it's creating a texture but it's taking a very long time to create that texture so this is the hair that amazon sent me with the machine so i'm going to try a different some different hair I'm gonna try a hair that I would use. It's not as thick, but it has a texture on it. It has more like a texture on it. This hair has like a, a, a coily or a wavy texture. And this hair has like a straight, has more of a straight texture. But the machine should be able to do all textures. And that's the whole point. If you have Caucasian hair, Asian hair, black hair, uh, Latin hair, it should be able to create texture because that's the whole purpose of the machine. So let's see. So if I take it with this machine, take the hair, twist it on. And I'm gonna feed it through. It's been about probably like five or six passes on this hair. Okay, let's see. So I'm thinking that it's, it's really not creating a lock because I think there's a design flaw in this product. These heads, the crochet heads inside of the tool are missing a hook. They should have, I don't know if you can see that really, really good, but they should have a hook inside here. They're just straight needles, so they're not creating a lock. So I think that is a, it's not working as well as I expected, but I'm gonna do a video. I'm gonna bring my other my African dreadlock machine in and just do a sample with that machine on the same hair and to see how, how well that works. I'm gonna um, get my dreadlock machine out to do a versus video on the different machines. Um, this is my machine, the Ugandan dreadlock machine. And I wanna do a versus to see how this machine, these two machines compare. How this machine compares to this machine. This is the Amazon machine I just purchased. This is the Ugandan dreadlock machine. Okay. So let's start with 
the hair. This is the hair that, it, uh, that uh, Amazon sent. Now this machine for sure has a smaller head where you can buy um, the, um, other machines with bigger heads, um, but they're not interchangeable. That's the difference. But this machine has a big head on it. And the Uganda machine has a smaller head, but it has like, it's a little louder, but I think it's gonna be a different type of um, work. It's gonna have a different outcome. So let's let's check it out. So let's take let's take the hair. Let's see what we're gonna use here. The hair that they sent me. Okay. Again, this hair doesn't have like a lot of texture on it. And I think that when you're trying to feed the hair through, uh, the big difference is because the hole is so small, then it, it seems like it's easier to feed the hair through. This is like too much space, too much air space, or maybe it needs a different tool. So let's see. Trying to get those tools, those um, uh, heads in there to be very, just to be at the bottom, just to the top. There you go. I'll take it here. Hair that they, they sent. Pull it through. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, the hair doesn't have a lot of texture to it. So it's really hard to feed it through. And there's a way to um to kind of kind of deal with that. It's like a back combing method. You would like take the hair and you would kind of comb it back. I don't have a comb with me, but I can probably simulate back combing method where you just take the hair and create a knot so that you can be able to call a French lace or a knot so it can cause a nap so when I put this tool in there it'll hang on to it let's see if that works let's see yeah it kind of works See what happens. The machine is louder. However, you do get like quick work on that on this machine because of the design of the hooks inside so you do get that like work you can create a lot okay. let's try on this hair again this is a crochet tool with a hook on it Use that hook. See how the hair come together in there. Then you twist them back and forth, back and forth. Again, this machine is a lot louder. But it gets the work done. So here you have the lock. Okay. Let's try another texture. See what happens here. This is like thicker hair, thicker texture. Here. See how this one goes. Different color. Okay. 
I think a lot of it has to do with the size of the holes in the machine and the amount of hair. So between the two machines, you have um, the Amazon dreadlock machine that didn't really stand up because I'm sure it's a good machine, it's designed well, but I think the tool doesn't really work as well as the dreadlock machine from Uganda. Similar design. This one is actually made out of wood. The hole is a lot smaller, but they do they do carry machines with smaller holes for um, um, sister locks and a larger holes for uh, for wigs. This one has three different sizes, but I think the tool is not complete because it doesn't it doesn't really work that well when it comes to creating a lock. Sounds good. Really smooth. Nice feel in the hands. So uh, there you have it. You have the um, unboxing and you have versus. Or you have versus. This machine versus that machine. And I think this machine takes the cake and wins because it creates the locks in like a fraction of the time. Probably a minute to do both of these locks. Please like, subscribe, share. Have a great day.